Hey, a couple of days ago, I did a video on how to overpower the sun with a small flash unit. And for that video, my subject was this beautiful potted tulip plant. Uh, I still have that plant over there on my counter. Uh, and I gotta tell you, it's seen better days. It's starting to wilt. Uh, basically, it's gonna die. And uh, I wanted to uh, get some pictures of this thing because you know, even in its current state, uh, its final stages before we throw it out, it still has uh, a beauty of its own and I wanted to sort of celebrate that beauty by taking some pictures maybe even some macro shots so if you'll join me for a few minutes let's go ahead and see what we can get see if we can get some beautiful pictures out of this plant first thing we're gonna do is set a stool up right here I'm gonna use this as my background and we'll place the plant right about here and I want to adjust these blinds uh, it's not that bright outside, but I want to get as much of this light as we possibly can so that we don't have to use an extremely high ISO. One of the things I'm definitely going to need to use is my tripod because like I said, uh, the light just isn't bright enough. Uh, I don't want to use a uh, really high ISO, so I'm going to have to make up for that with my shutter speed and my aperture. Uh, I want to use an aperture of at least f4, so the shutter speed is going to be uh, in the neighborhood of 1 60th of a second or even lower. So definitely use a tripod for something like this. So we're gonna start with this guy right here. And we're at 1 30th of a second. I'm gonna focus sort of midpoint right about here. Okay, because I'm really not that happy with the amount of light that we're getting through the window. Like I said, it's kind of a dreary day, it's overcast. I'm gonna use a flash and that technique that I showed you the other day to isolate the subject in total darkness or near darkness, at least uh, it'll look that way. And we're gonna do that by using off-camera flash. It's gonna be manual flash. We're gonna trigger it with this little radio trigger and uh, let's go ahead and see what we get with that. Now because I'm using flash, I'm not gonna have to worry about those slow shutter speeds because we're gonna be at our flash sync speed of 1 2 50th of a second. This is pretty nice except for the fact that the highlights are blown out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust my flash down a couple of stops and we'll see where that gets us. So I've got my exposure down at this point so the rest is gonna be about just getting a good composition and just making this thing look really nice. Okay, let's take some macro shots with these extension tubes. We'll go for this one, the 31 millimeter. We can pretty much use the same flash settings with these macro shots. If we have to adjust, uh, we'll just adjust the distance between the flash and the subject a little. Well, there you go. I think this plant is still beautiful even in its current state with its blooms wilting. Uh, it still has its own charm, its own beauty. And uh, you know, yeah, this, this uh, plant, maybe there's still some hope for it. I see some uh, little things sprouting up here, some new stems. Uh, but these, uh, I think we've done a fine job immortalizing uh, the character and nature and beauty of these with the pictures that we just took. Uh, I like it. And you can let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. I thought this was fun. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. That's about it for today. I'll see you guys next time.